Hey guys, today we will be creating a TV channel transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can download the transition effect in the description below. The first thing we need to do is create an adjustment layer. Make sure it matches the settings of the sequence. Click OK. Drag and drop it onto our timeline, just around where the transition should be. Then we will add effects to our adjustment layer. The first effect will be the noise effect. To get it, go to effects panel and search for noise. Pick the one under the noise and grain tab and drag it to the adjustment layer. And then go to the effect controls and under the noise, turn the noise amount to 100%. Next, we will be adding some scan lines to the clip. So let's go to the effects panel and search for grid effect and then drag it onto the adjustment layer. Go to the effect controls and select the grid effect to bring out these two controls for the effect. Click and drag the one on the left all the way off screen. And then pull the one on the right off screen and while at it, drag it down to bring these lines closer together. Now we have our scan lines. Go to the feather settings and turn the feathering for the height to about 3% to reduce the sharpness. Then go to blend mode and change it to color dodge to blend our scan lines with our clip. To add some distortion to our effect, let's search for the turbulent displace effect and drag it onto our adjustment layer. Go to the effect controls and under turbulent displace, set the displacement to horizon displacement so we only move pixels left and right. Change the complexity to 7 and play around with the amount of displacement as well. Something around 90 should be fine. Now this is close to a TV distortion effect. Let's add Gaussian Blur to soften it up. Check repeat edge pixels and change the blurriness to something that is soft enough. Around 4. Finally, the last effect we will be adding is to skew the image a little bit. So let's add the transform effect to our adjustment layer. Go to the effect controls and under transform, change the values of skew to your liking. Something around 5 to 7. To close the black pixels the effect leaves behind, turn off the uniform scale and scale up the height to fill the frame. If you look a bit closer, the effect ends up washing out the clip. So let's save it by adding some contrast to it. Come to Lumetri Color and push the contrast to its max and our image is all distorted. Lastly, I want to add an effect so that when this image gets pushed out of the frame, the next image replaces it. Go to Effects Panel and search for Push. Drag and drop it onto the edit point. Double click it and change the transition to 6 frames, cause it really needs to be short. With the transition selected, go to effect controls and make sure the transition is moving south to north, so the image is pushed up out of frame. Then change the alignment to center at cut. You can add a border width if you like, set this to 50 and done. All we need to do is set the adjustment layer so that it aligns with the push transition effect from beginning to end. Here is our transition. You can copy the effect to other edit points or even select the effects and save this as a preset. And that's how to create a TV channel change transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. See you in the next video. Kwaheri.